Bitcoin can make your life better, but I bet you don't know how. I co-founded this uh, Bitcoin company called GreenBit earlier this year, and I quickly found out that none of my friends knew what Bitcoin was, and the few that did, they had bad information. So today, I want to tell you what Bitcoin is, how my family uses it today, and how you can benefit from it, the consumer. So, yes, um, I did buy an island last year. That's it. And uh, it's been a lifelong dream, and I'm uh, thrilled to be working on this island. And what does that have to do with Bitcoin? Uh, I'm going to come back to that in a couple minutes. So what is Bitcoin? Um, it's a cryptocurrency. It is a currency, US dollars, euros, Bitcoins. And it's based on some amazing technology, peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, and it's just, um, it's a decentralized oh, system. Bella, I'm doing a TED Talk. Yeah, Dad, I know. You're kind of messing it up. As soon as you say cryptocurrency, you're going to lose everyone. And kids are better at explaining new technologies than adults are. So I'm here to help you. Well, okay, but we gotta kind of hurry up. Yeah, Dad, I know. It's a TED Talk. Bitcoin is digital cash. Let me explain what I mean. This is physical cash. One US dollar. Calvin, I'll buy the pen you have for one dollar. Okay. Thanks. With cash, I don't need a bank or anyone in the middle of this transaction. I give him the cash, he gives me the pen. I don't even need to know his name. Here, I don't want the pen. Can I have the cash back? No. That's the way cash works. Bitcoin works the same way as cash, but Bitcoin is digital cash. Here, watch this. I'm going to pay for the pen with Bitcoin. I just send Bitcoin from my phone directly to Calvin's phone. I just need a smartphone, it's so cool. You can hold Bitcoin on a smartphone in a Bitcoin wallet like this one. You can download them for free. Bitcoin is to cash what email is to paper mail. With email, I can send information over the internet directly to anyone I want in the world. I can send Bitcoin over the internet to anyone I want in little tiny amounts, even less than a penny, or in large amounts like 1,000 Bitcoins, which is $270,000 today. Are you guys starting to get this? So that's the basics of Bitcoin. My dad can take it from here. Bye. All right, let's give a little round of applause. <laughs> Well, there's a few other things you need to know about Bitcoin wallets and Bitcoin itself. How do you get Bitcoin on your Bitcoin wallet on your smartphone? Well, there's several different ways. If you have a bank account, you can attach it and transfer money from your bank account directly in your wallet, convert it into Bitcoin. If you don't have a bank account, somebody else who has Bitcoin can transfer it to you from their wallet, or you can sell something, a bicycle, jewelry, products, services, and accept Bitcoin for payment. Or you can go to one of these Bitcoin ATM machines, like this jolly Bitcoin ATM machine that are popping up all over the world. You put cash into it, and it will put Bitcoin directly onto your phone in your Bitcoin wallet. Um, what if you want less than one Bitcoin? Well, it's just like a $1 bill can be broken up into 100 pennies. One Bitcoin, which is worth about $270 today, can be broken up into 1 million pieces called bits. 37 bits is worth one penny. Who owns Bitcoin? Well, it's not owned by a company, the government. It's not owned by anyone. It's like the internet. It's a decentralized system. Nobody owns it. It's owned by all the people who use it and process it. So that means no one can shut it down, including governments. And speaking of governments, governments are starting to embrace Bitcoin. This is a headline that uh, was, is less than a month old. Canadian Senate officially takes a pro Bitcoin stance. Well, here's a couple other interesting statistics about Bitcoin. There's uh, over 300,000 retailers around the world that accept Bitcoin now. You may have heard of some of these that are up on the screen right now. And there are over 10 million consumers who are currently using it. There has been an increase of 
tenfold in the number of Bitcoin transactions in just the last two years and over $44 billion has been transacted in Bitcoin. And VC money is pouring into Bitcoin. In 2012, $20 million of VC money came into Bitcoin companies. The first six months of this year's $500 million has come in from top tier investment firms like Goldman Sachs and Andreessen Horowitz and Qualcomm Ventures. The New York Stock Exchange even invested in Bitcoin technologies. So just curious, how many of you are a little surprised by the information you've heard so far about Bitcoin? Yeah, a lot of you. It's, it's, uh, most people don't really understand what it is even when they've heard about it. So let's talk about a few of the ways that you can use it. These first two little video clips are my daughter. I have Bitcoin on my phone that I want to sell for cash. So using this Bitcoin ATM machine, it's really easy. I'm going to sell my Bitcoin. I want $20 out, so I just sell it. Using my phone, I can scan this, which sells $20 worth of Bitcoin off my phone and I can get $20 of cash out. And here's my $20 in cash. I use Bitcoin on my phone to buy pizza at the pie hole in Salt Lake. So I just punch in the amount on my phone of the pizza, continue, and then I just scan this right here. And it's done, it's that easy. Now some of you may be wondering how secure it is. It's very secure especially if you use a wallet like this one that actually insures your Bitcoin and your wallet even if someone happens to hack into it. It's like being insured at a bank. Um, if you go to the internet, and Overstock.com was the first large internet company to start accepting Bitcoin. If you go to their website and buy something, you'll see on the checkout page on the top screen, there's different options to pay. You can use credit cards, PayPal, and you see the Bitcoin icon, you click on that, you check out, that bottom screen will pop up. You've got a little QR code there, you point your Bitcoin wallet at that, and it'll deduct 0.22 Bitcoins for that purchase off your phone going directly to Overstock. No banks in the middle, it's a direct transaction. That's why there's no chargebacks. If you're a retailer, if you're a small entrepreneur and you take Visa or MasterCard, this is one of the brilliant things about accepting Bitcoin. It's like accepting cash. And you save that one to 3% you would have to pay if you accepted a credit card. Um, micropayments, I love this application. You walk into a gas station, you want a bottle of water, and they say, sorry, in order to use your credit card, you need to buy $5 worth of stuff. Well, if they accepted Bitcoin, you could buy a piece of bubble gum for five cents. There's no minimum. And what that opens up is this whole new world of micropayments. So now you can go and purchase uh, the rights to a song for five cents, or a digital picture for 30 cents, or 50 cents for additional bandwidth in a, a coffee shop. So this micropayments market, the only reason it hasn't exploded worldwide is we've never had a good payment um, system for it until Bitcoin. So watch what happens to this industry, this marketplace in the next couple years. Remittance is when foreign workers send their money home, $550 billion a year annually at a cost of five to 10% to these people. That's about $50 billion that they could really use. They can use Bitcoin and they are using Bitcoin today to do this at a cost of 1% or less. And what about traveling internationally? You use your credit card overseas if it works, you're gonna get a nice, huge 3 to 10% extra fee for transferring that into a different currency. If you take your dollars and you wanna get currency in that country, it's gonna be another 3 to 10%. Well, what if there was a currency, one currency, that you could use anywhere in the world and not have to do any of the transfers? Well, it's called Bitcoin. It's here today. Now, granted, we need a lot more retail stores around the world to start accepting Bitcoin to fully benefit from this, but that's coming. All right, back to the island. So, uh, I bought this island. That's me the first 10 seconds I landed on it. Um, and uh, of course, Bitcoin will be accepted there. There's nothing there today. Uh, you're welcome to come and camp. And uh, we, we do, uh, my goal is really to build this as the greenest development in the world. We're breaking ground next month. Why do I talk about this? Well, there's a little village on the island. That's the chief. He's doing some work for me. I send him money every month. Before Bitcoin, I had to take the money from my US dollar account in Singapore, send it to Malaysia, have it converted, have someone go to the bank, get the cash, take a boat out to the chief. Today, I take the Bitcoin from my wallet. In 10 seconds, I send it to his smartphone. He's got it. He can convert it to Malaysian ring at any time he wants. It's so much more efficient. I'm just scratching the surface of what you can do with Bitcoin today and what you will be able to do with it in the next few years. Keep your eyes open. So Bitcoin, now you know what it is, a couple ways to use it, and how it might 
make your life better. Thank you.